So all these were called upon to transport power generation equipment from port of entry to three separate power stations within, within the UK. We have uh, Millbrook, Bedfordshire. We have Herwan, which is South Wales. And we have Progress Park, which is uh, Ipswich. So each power station uh, consists of a, a turbine, a generator, and a transformer within the powertrain, each backed by a number of ancillary units required to join these together. When complete, each open cycle gas turbine has a gross output of 299 megawatts, which is enough energy to power 150,000 UK homes. For each location, we transported a transformer, a turbine, a generator and all ancillary equipment from three UK ports to three power plants across the UK. So as we move towards more renewable sources of energy, we'll rely on these what we call peaker plants to provide power where there's a, an absence of power through weather dependent uh, means such as wind power or solar power. It gives us some security, some energy security. These gas turbines can be brought on stream to produce energy very quickly, whereas a, a gas or a coal-fired power station, it would take a number of days to bring that up into a position where it's producing power. Hence, albeit we are installing further gas infrastructure, it actually saves gas in the long run. It all affects the carbon footprint of the country. Each location had its own dedicated project manager and for each of us there was extensive planning over a 12 month period dealing with the police stakeholders, the councils, uh, council structures people and we had to put a number of solutions in place. These solutions included everything from initial route analysis, engineering works and customs clearance through to a full transportation solution and delivery to foundation. So in total we travelled 170 miles across all three projects, uh, traversing around 300 structures, each requiring independent structural assessment. So we have to do a lot of the simulations for the transports going along the roads and the routes, to navigating roundabouts, junctions, deciding what sort of street furniture needs to come out to enable us to, to get along the routes of the site. To put it into perspective, Across these projects, we use a range of trailers, including girder frames, flat top trailers, SBMTs, semi-load loaders, wafer decks, as well as hydraulic gantries, jacking and skidding systems. We had to overbridge some certain structures to prevent collapse. We had to overcome street furniture and obstacles along the way, and all this was planned out well in advance with the, with the various stakeholders on the move. The sites themselves changed multiple times as the route was also being improved, so we had to be adaptive in that sense. So that took several site visits to organise, as well as lots of measuring and marking out. We were notified early on into the project that there's going to be an issue travelling over one of the bridges. It wouldn't be ready in time for us to cross. So a transshipment solution was implemented. The transshipment area that we identified was on a hill, which isn't ideal necessarily, but we managed to make sure that we were confident that it was okay to carry out the operation still under a safe manner and that everyone could work together to get the solution optimal. And it was quite interesting to engineer. With Progress Power, there were some quite difficult obstacle roads to get down. There was a lot of street furniture, a lot of signals, telegraph poles, uh, as well as all the, all the cars and all the rest of the obstructions to, to get round. So one of the biggest changes is that they're brand new sites, so it's evolving all the time. So as we're trying to do our engineering works, they're also doing their engineering works and sort of developing their site, um, so it's changing all the time. So this is a typical project that we get involved with uh, here at Alanis. Uh, I think the beauty of Alanis is, uh, you know, we've got the equipment which we can use, you know, small, medium and heavy, so we, we handle it all. And uh, I think that was the, the, you know, the benefit for this particular client using us. Alanis provides a crucial part of the development of national infrastructure in this country with regards to energy and power. You know, whether it be wind or electrical power. We have the capability to provide all of the heavy lift equipment, planning, resources and process to make these happen for the clients. We're amongst very few people in the country that can make this happen. You know, we can get involved in pretty much any size, any weight, 
Cosmos trusted us to manage the, the project. We have the infrastructure and the, the, the support network within our engineering teams and the company as a whole. And this was shown by overcoming all of the challenges, managing every aspect of the project, delivering all of the cargo to site and installing the units into their final positions. I think this project demonstrates Ali's ability to work together as a, as, as a team. Um, and, and, and as a family in order to, to overcome uh, challenges that, that others would, would deem impossible. We've moved some of the largest components uh, on the UK roads and we're the, we're the best partner for this type of project.